Hello everyone, welcome to the second lecture of this course, Power of Perl, a course covering basic and advanced Perl. Uh, in this lecture, we will be going over the course uh, the course overview. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, we will be covering two topics. Uh, first one is uh, we will be covering the prerequisites uh, for this course and the version of different tools we will be using, and uh, then we will cover the topics which are covered in this course. So the first section, prerequisites. So uh, basically, this course assumes uh, that the user has knowledge of at least one high-level programming language, say uh, C++, C, or a similar language. And uh, following are good to know, but they are not must know. So knowledge of spreadsheets, basically, if uh, you would have ever worked with uh, spreadsheets, uh, it's uh, good enough. Even if you have not worked, uh, you will learn something about spreadsheets from this course. Uh, SQL which is structured query language but in case you don't know anything about structured query language don't worry we will cover some of the very basic of SQLs through this course and a hypertext markup language that is HTML and we will be covering basic concepts uh, of HTML also as well so basically uh, this course will help you learn uh, Perl both advanced and basic constructs as well as you can learn a bit of SQL and HTML in case you don't know them already so basically the course serves the purpose of three in one and the version of Perl we used in this course is uh, Perl 5.26.2 so all the programs and hands-on coding we will be doing will be based upon this version of the Perl uh, okay so this is the details of the topics which are covered in this course right so what we will be doing is uh, we will be uh, we have already gone through the introduction uh, this is a second lecture on course overview uh, moving forward, uh, we will uh, discuss about how do we get Perl working, uh, how do, uh, whether we use online simulators or how do we get it installed on our machine. Then we will be covering the Perl basics. Uh, we will be writing our first Perl program and then I will discuss in detail about data types, different data types supported by Perl. We will be discussing operators, loops, different conditional statements, subroutines and few other uh, salient points. So basically this section uh, we will be discussing all the types and then we will be doing some hands-on programming as well uh, using Perl 5.26.2. Uh, moving ahead we move on to one of the very important and powerful tool of Perl which is called regular expressions. Uh, we will talk about special characters, quantifiers, anchors and we will do some hands-on programming here as well. Um, then uh, we will move on to some of the advanced Perl con constructs uh, and these constructs are the ones which are uh, very frequently used in the industries and uh, knowing them uh, is always uh, good to know to develop any advanced application or tool. So basically we will uh, talk about file read and write operations where we will talk about few facts, uh, few file checks and then we will talk about file read, write, append and read, write operations. Uh, then we will be talking about how do we do spreadsheet read and write operations and including various formatting options as to how to add a color, how to add a border into a Perl, uh, into an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, we will be, in this uh, section we will be talking about relevant modules to use, uh, then read and write operations and various formatting operations. Then we will move to interfacing with MS SQL databases. Uh, first of all, uh, to people who don't know about SQL, we will be covering SQL basics. That is how to create a database, how to create a table, how to use a database, how to insert into a table, how to query from a table and how to delete a record from a table. And then we will use Perl to connect to a MS SQL servers and perform all these basic uh, uh, read, write, uh, delete operations into MS SQL server using Perl and uh, at last we will be covering two topics one is like uh, i will be going over how to create a perl module and then we will use that perl module to write a program to generate html formatted content since html uh, is a different language uh, what i will do is uh, in the beginning i will introduce you to html uh, briefly very briefly and then uh, we will talk about how to create a Perl module, how to use packages. Uh, then what we will use is we will use this uh, Perl module uh, to create HTML formatted content. Okay, so stay tuned for the course. Uh, I'm very excited to teach this course uh, and moreover like this course will be pretty hands-on. Uh, just to make it clear once again, uh, we will be quickly covering the basics and we will be spending good amount of time to cover advanced Perl concepts so that uh, like uh, it just opens up the sort of possibilities uh, and the kind of tools which people can develop using Perl. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टे ट्यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सी यू बाय